let's talk about Brown Third Symphony. The slow movement is one of the things that we have to play constantly in a lot of the clarinet auditions. And it's one of the things that I usually feel very happy and it's one of the excerpts that I really look forward to playing because uh, it's one of the things that uh, show a lot of the fallacies on clarinet players and clarinet in general. The unevenness of uh, many of the popular brands and the resistance between the right hand and the left hand is really tricky and that's exactly why this excerpt is usually asked very often. So it's very hard to match the sound and much more so, uh, even less so, the uh, intonation, okay? So this is one of the things where Maury and I worked very hard and uh, we're very happy to show that uh, with a lot of foresight and changing the game, you can actually immediately be at a much better place to be able to uh, be more competitive by having an instrument that has much more even resistance and infinitely better in tune than most. So there, the two notes that we always have to be watching for, of course, is the D, okay, and our throw A, which are notes that when played soft, especially on other instruments, always write high. So you want to make sure that you have an instrument that you can go boom and it's actually in tune. Okay, now, so if you can, check it out with your tuner and uh, make sure that you can really zero in on those notes because those are the most important ones that keep coming, coming back and forth. And the other one is to make sure that you can actually get the actual uh, fifth which is usually too spread, most clarinets play this note sharp, and then the octave. So you have three perfect intervals that you have to perfect. The perfect fourth, re, la, perfect fifth, la, mi, and the octave, okay? La, la, <laughs> okay? So those two, uh, those three things, and you will be able to be much better ahead of the game for the next audition. All the best to you.